here we go first video of the year and we're on the cottage conversion as you can see the roof has gone on we did this last week which is pretty good and today and probably tomorrow we'll be tackling this gable here <coughs> and a little brick detail down there where that dormer is so all good really just a couple of notes about this roof uh hand built so uh to marry up the ridges with the existing that ridge and this ridge are perfectly in line but to do that we've had to raise this wall plate 225 mil compared to this wall plate because that's just how the original house is so we've done that and that's about it really so we've got to throw a mix on still not got a laborer but if any laborers or apprentices i should say wants a job in derby give me a shout <laughs> so let's crack on Here we go. So we have got the internal block work up to lintel height. Uh, I'm going to go get the lintel in a little bit. I'm going to get this block work up to the same height now. I'm just setting up my hockey sticks. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me using them a couple of days ago to do a brick detail. Uh, what it is, basically, a bit of wood, what goes on your rafters. And then you've got this little down stand, I call it, with a nail set in at 75 mil so i'm going to put a line from this nail up to a hockey stick i'll put up there and then i'll cut my block work to that so dead easy and then that allows me 75 mil for a one course brick detail up the gable anyway let's crack on here we go then so we've just put our hockey sticks on and we're just doing the cut up as you can see we've got some up there and one more over here so all we're doing is just putting our block on dry, half bond with below, roughly scoring it with a pencil, and then we're just gonna cut that and then lay the block to the line. Nothing to it. And then this is a 75 mil gap here to the top of the rafter to this cup, and that will allow for our one brick detail going up here. So nothing really to it, makes it loads easier using these hockey sticks. Right, let's get this cut and uh, get it laid. blocks up over Christmas but you could not tell they're absolutely soaking it's making my life lots of uh, lots easier Beautiful. One more course, 
lentils. Sad. What's going on here? <laughs> Breakfast! That's an I've got oh, fucking sick of today. Alright, so this is we're looking. I have run out of blocks, so someone's just gonna go fetch me some blocks now. I'm setting up some trestles, trusty trestles, just to sit this lintel on and do some block work above. And then in a little bit, I've got a two course of brick detail going down there. Overall gonna be sticking out 50 mil. And I have the same detail going on down this valley. So I've got a course of block to go down and then two course of brick. So nothing hectic pretty steady day so far. Happy with that. Mint. Sand, right, so I've got my tray set, I've got my lintel on, I've got my upstands ready. Uh, I don't know if you remember when I did my soldiers over there, I had a right fiasco. Um, putting them on because I stuck them out 25 mil to allow for the render. Well, everyone suggested I should use the profile method. So that's what I've done here. I've set a profile up, probably about five mil higher than my lintel. So I should be able to smear a bit of compo there and it should just sit lovely here. So uh, I'm gonna give that a whirl. The only problem is I need some bricks and I haven't got any. And the bricks are on a job, five minutes away over there. Oh, fucking hell. But uh, yeah, so let's crack on, go get some bricks. We have just fetched all the bricks and trimmed them all up. Got everything set, so we're gonna blast this in, probably a quick time lapse for this because it's getting a bit late on in the day. So let's crack on.
Well, I'll tell you what, I am well impressed with that technique. I've seen everyone use it, like Tricky, After Eight, every bricklayer I've seen using it, but I can see why. It makes everything a lot easier. So I'm gonna leave this on, I'm gonna get this cut on over here and probably call it a day. <sighs> Not really done loads, but I've had to be fetching things from the job up there all day. So it's just one of them, but we're getting there. Oh, right, there we go. That is where we're leaving it for today. Internal and external block work, pretty much up to high. Only a few more blocks to lay, nothing major. Got soldiers on and this, uh, yeah, this little method here is fantastic. So I'll be definitely using that again in the future. Like I say, I didn't get loads done today, but I've been, oh, look at that mess. First day wanker shit, that is. Uh, let's face this way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get loads done today, but I've been back and forth all day to the barn conversion, getting bits and bobs what I need. So it's just while then. Anyway, sand. I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> See you in a bit.